Marvel Hero Click Secret Wars Battle World Weird World previews coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe at Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has a winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at luckydicecafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Alright guys, so today we are looking at some figures from the upcoming Marvel Hero Clicks Secret Wars Battle World set. Um, so we are taking a look at some weird world figures today. So we're taking a look at Moltar, Archon, and Crystar. So let's go ahead because things are about to get weird. All right, first up we have number 25 in the set, Crystar. He has the Battle World Weird World, Crystanium, and Warrior Keywords. Uh, he has one trait, a special on his attack, and a special on his defense. His first trait is called Untamed Weirdness. Opposing characters' combat values except range can't be modified when attacking Crystar or being attacked by Crystar. So really cool there. Um, it means they can't really perplex up anything when they attack him. When, and you know, and they can't do their defense, and that also gets around combat reflexes and energy shield deflection. So really cool there. Then he has another special on his attack called Crystal Broadsword, Blaze Claws Fangs. Once per turn, you may either reroll Crystal's attack roll or reroll Crystal Crystal's roll for Blaze Claws Fangs. Pretty cool there. Um, I can't tell you how many times I rolled Blaze Claws Fangs and got a one. So that's cool to get a reroll out on that. Then he has a special on his defense, which is Crystal Shell. When an opposing character hits Crystar, reduce damage taken by 3. If the attack roll succeeds by exactly 1 by 2, if the attack roll succeeds by exactly 2, and by 1 if it succeeds by exactly 3, protected outwit. Now, something interesting that I did notice about this figure when it was pulled is that on the card it has indomitability. And on the dial, it does not. So you guys go ahead and let me know in the comments below which one it's supposed to go with. Um, I'd be interested for that. I will let you know once I get a couple of responses how I ruled it as the judge at my venue. But let's go ahead and uh, flip this over and take a look at the dial. All right, so here we are. He's 75 points, has a 9 movement with charge, 11 attack with that special, 18 defense with that special, and possibly indomitability, 3 damage with leadership overall i like him he's definitely a close combat guy um if you don't get exactly above his defense with one of those roles um then you know there's the possibility of uh you know not getting a reducer i saw somebody hit with exactly the amount they needed so then he didn't get to reduce at all um but you know that 18 defense you're gonna need a pretty high roll so you know there's a good chance that you're gonna only succeed by by one through three so pretty cool there definitely a, a flavor character next up we have number 26 in the set moltar he has the battle world weird world christine crystallium and mystical keywords he has that untamed weirdness trait he has a special on his attack and a special on his damage his trait is the same as Crystar, so we're not going to cover that. Uh, he has that special on his attack is called Enraged Magma, Poison Quake. When Moltar makes a close attack targeting a single character, after resolution, deal one penetrating damage to the hit target. So pretty cool there. You get to you know poison if, if you start your turn adjacent to him. Um, you know you get your poison click if they don't have a reducer. Then you get your quake, and if you hit with your quake, you get another damage. So that's really awesome there. And then uh, his special on his damage is to serve as a prince of chaos leadership once per turn for all characters with this power. When an opposing character within five squares uses probability control, you may have the target character re-roll that roll again. So really cool there. It's sort of a, uh, a trolley prob. I, I like that power a lot. So let's go ahead and flip this over and see what the dial looks like. All right, so here he is for 75 points. He has a 7 movement with sidestep, 11 attack with that special, 18 defense with invulnerability, 3 damage with that special. Overall, I like him. He's pretty niche -y. Um, I'm definitely going to try to play Weird World a lot uh, just because I, I think it's a cool keyword and it's, it's quirky, which is the kind of stuff I like to play. But uh, that attack special where you get to poison, attack, and then deal 1 penetrating damage, uh, you know, so basically you have the opportunity every, every turn to deal at least one damage and then 
and then on turns where you you're able to attack to deal five damage with just him with no modifiers or anything so really cool there excited to try him out all right and here we are with the last figure for this uh Review slash preview number 43, Archon. He has the Battle World Weird Word World Ruler and Warrior keywords. He has that untamed weirdness trait. He has another trait called Archon the Utterly Lost and a special on his attack. Uh, we're not going to cover the untamed weirdness trait because we already covered that. Uh, his other trait is Archon the Utterly Lost. At the beginning of your turn, an opponent places Archon into an adjacent square. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of flavorful. You know, it has the real potential to to hinder you as the person playing him, but still pretty cool. And I bet that they undercosted him because that because of that because that's that could be big for your opponent to be able to do. And uh, the special on his attack is called Battle Bolts, penetrating psychic blast. When Archon uses it to target a single character and hits, at a resolution, each opposing character adjacent to the target is dealt one penetrating damage. So really cool there. It's sort of like energy explosion, except they don't become targets. So all you have to do is hit the first character. I think that's really cool. Um, definitely going to try to make this guy work. Let's see what his dial looks like, though, before I make that commitment. All right, so here he is. Looks like it's 60 points, 5 range, single target, 7 movement with running shot 11 attack with that special 18 defense with toughness and three damage for 60 points i like this guy a lot even if your opponent does get to move him um just really cool i like the pseudo energy explosion that i believe is better than energy explosion um i'm definitely going to try to get this guy in on a team just just for fun so you guys let me know what your favorite figure was from this little preview in the comments below i'd love to read that uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. That's all I have for you today. Please remember that it's on Critical Miss if you don't have probability control.